Thank, thank you, Ray. 15 wins down and one to go, as Ray mentioned. We want to head to Boston, get some Blues postgame comments. First, Blues defenseman Colton Pareko on the 2-1 win. 1-1 one, one for us here. Uh, it was a huge game by him. Um, very impressive. and um, I mean, I don't really know I could talk about that performance all day. It was un unreal, so good for him, and um, that was awesome. Does O'Reilly continue to fuel this team before he's gone? Yeah, he's a player that continues to, to just battle, and he's a guy that we rely on to show work ethic and just rely on in all situations, and um, he's, he's confident in all situations, so he continues to, to show that and can, to do that. Speaking of confidence, you're going back home, and the Stanley Cup will be in the building. What does that mean to you? It's exciting for us, obviously. Um, it's huge for our group. We've we've had had a, quite the season so far. We've been through quite a lot, um, but we continue to battle. Um, we never gave up on each other. We almost came well. It put us closer together, especially now at this point. So um, we're obviously going to expect their best game in the whole series from them. So we're going to have to match it and um, just give ourselves the best chance to win that way. How special is that scene going to be in St. Louis with those fans waiting for you for Game Six? Yeah, we're excited. Um, even game three and four, it was crazy. But game six, I can only imagine how how uh, exciting it's going to be. The the building has been rocking, and um, this is going to be a lot of fun. How do you guys? You guys, you guys two days. Like, how, how do you how do you process it? How do you make sure that you manage your emotions in a good way? Just try to continue to focus on the game and make sure we we're, we're not too too high and we're not too low. We understand why why we win and what makes us good and. Um, Obviously, it's exciting for us. It's exciting for everybody in the locker room and part of St. Louis, but um, just trying to make sure that we just focus on the game one shift at a time, um, and that, that's all we can do with this one. What did you, did you not like about today, despite winning the game? Uh, I don't know. I think we played well. They, they had a lot of good chances. They came hard, especially in the first. They, they had chances. Um, I think we, just kind of speaking, I guess, from my standpoint, I guess just maybe moving my feet a little bit more. And, but overall, I thought our game was good. Um, obviously, like I said, they came out hard. They they played well, and um, that's what we expected, especially in their building. So um, good. Uh, if it was just a good, good, good game. That's yeah, special. Uh, obviously, um, it's it's quite the opportunity for all of us in that locker room. Um, we've. Definitely been through a lot this season. Uh, it's been a good season for us, and I think that that's brought us all together. Obviously, we all know kind of how the season's been, but um, for for us, it's been it's been so much fun. Um, we continue to just work with the process. You mentioned three periods, and just want to go one period at a time, and um, it's it's going to be hard. So we got to be prepared for that. Have you seen Jordan? I don't know. He plays unbelievable every game. It seems like so. Um, we we kind of expect nothing, nothing less than that right now, and. Um, he, just because that's him and that's just how he is, he he's so calm back there and he makes the saves and makes it look easy. So um, that's it's been great. I'm trying to think of someone who's done something like this, and the only name I can come up with is Ken Ryan, who's who's done it under these circumstances, and, and you know if he does it, it, goes on like like I mean you're too young to remember that, but that, I mean that's that's the kind of thing he's doing here, isn't it? He is, um, and he's just running with it. It's it's impressive, and he he continues to just strive on on uh, getting the job done. And he just gets in there, and um, every day he comes prepared. Every day he does the same routine. Everything um, is the same, and it just goes to show his focus level, the way that he continues to um, be mature back there, and um, just gets the job done. And I think that the, just the way that he he sets him up, up himself up for success is is the way that he does it, and it's it's evident, obviously. What's the success been on the road during these playoffs? You guys have been lights out. Yeah, I think a big part of it is just get into our game. Uh, and our game is just getting pucks in, chip, chip, um, make it hard on their defense to make plays. We, we're hard, hard in there on the plays. and um, they, Our forwards have done a really good job of that. And I would say that's just the biggest thing is just making sure we're connected and getting in on the fourth Can you talk about the play of Zach Sanford since he's gotten into the lineup? Yeah, it's been stellar. Um, he's, he's chipping in every single game. And, that's kind of that's what we, we get from him when he's in the lineup, and that's just the player that he is. He's a hard worker. Uh, he makes things happen, and um, we're, we're happy for him, obviously, and um, just to see him continue to play well, and uh, we're going to watch him finish off this season well, too. No worries.